Talking the top denim trends to help you figure out not just the styles that are trending right now, but the different details and the different washes to give you an idea not only of what's trending, but I know this is going to be a little bit controversial, however I'm going to say it anyway. The truth is that any trend can be turned into a timeless piece for your wardrobe when you understand your style. And with that perspective in mind, I'm so excited to show you the denim trends right now and help you figure out which ones are gonna be worth adding to your wardrobe and just how to do that. Welcome back to my channel. If you happen to be new here, I am Jordan Blackwell, former materials engineer turned lifestyle content creator behind Little Miss JB Style, sharing with you life's possibilities through style. And I'm so excited. It is about time that I actually do a denim trends video considering that I have a whole playlist on how all the different denim fits from all these different stores, Zara, H&M, Abercrombie, the list literally goes on. So I wanted to take a step back and talk about the different denim trends that are out there because I think it's so important as you are figuring out your style, what's working for you. Knowing the trends is not only important to help you figure out what is worth adding to your closet, but as I'm gonna show you, it also can be a way for you to breathe new life into pieces that you already own. So with that, let's dive right in. I wanna start off with the different washes of jeans that are trending because that to me is just like the easiest place to start. You are gonna easily be able to figure out if you like a certain color of denim or you don't. And from there, I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways to easily incorporate those washes into your wardrobe. And I'm wearing one of the hottest denim washes right now and that is dark wash denim. How amazing is this denim jacket, by the way. I'm gonna get into that in a second. Dark wash denim has always been that girl to me. And that's one of the reasons I always take like the trending list with a grain of salt because did dark wash denim ever go out? Like dark wash, especially growing up, millennials, you already know what I'm about to say. The dark wash bootcut jeans. Do you remember how those were just everywhere? Like Gap had those, Armani had those, Hollister, Abercrombie & Fitch, American Eagle. That was just like the it girl jean. <laughs> growing up was just a dark denim boot jean. Like literally I can name so many movies, so many TV shows like Jennifer Aniston, didn't she just like live in those jeans? And she looked great. So dark wash truly is such an easy wash to incorporate regardless of your style because it can be edgy, it can be different. As you're seeing with this jacket that I got from Rent the Runway, which is a very slept on place by the way, because I think so many of us think of Rent the Runway as a place to rent clothes. You can also buy clothes off of Rent the Runway too. And they have some amazing pieces like this jacket that I have been obsessed with. Like look at how well this sets off even just some white denim. Sets off even some leggings, right? And if you wanna try out Rent the Runway, I actually have a discount code for first timers so that you can get 30% off. That's right, you heard me. 30% off your first month of membership. So if you wanna give that a try, here's the code right here for you to take advantage of. And the reason my example for the dark wash is a denim jacket is because so many of us often think of jeans, we only think of pants, but you can incorporate the denim wash that is trending in your jackets, in chambray tops, in your accessories. That is what I really wanted to keep you in mind by showing you a piece like this first when it comes to the most trending wash because this jacket, was worth every penny. It's chic and oversized, but still cinches in at the waist, showing off my figure. It is the perfect length. And a denim jacket, like who does not need a good denim jacket, right? Whether it's for your nine to five, for a casual brunch, or you're even headed on vacation and you need a good layering piece. A denim jacket is always, always, always a solid choice regardless of your style. And that brings me into the next denim wash that is trending, and that is a crew denim, the cream color denim. This again to me just isn't really a trend. I just feel like you either like cream or you either don't. And that's really how I approach all kinds of like color trends in general, not just denim. I either like a color or I don't. And that's one thing I wanna encourage you as I'm sharing with this. This doesn't mean you need to go out and buy dark wash, a crew and all the rest of the things I'm gonna list. The goal here is really to identify, hey, that's something I already like, or that's something that I might like and have it considered. And then how best to make it work for you and your style and your life, right? So that not only you look good, but you feel good, babe, because that's really what I want to help you with is to feel good because that is really where truly great style comes from is feeling good in what you're wearing. So A Crew Denim for me is again, just one of those classic, you've definitely seen me wear white denim before, these jeans from H&M. So I don't necessarily feel like I need to run out and buy a cream colored denim. I feel like I like the denim that I have. However, a really great place to look 
for the acru style denim is Abercrombie and Fitch. I feel like they have been doing an absolutely amazing job with playing with not just not just the dark washes and the traditional washes, but this acru color. They have so many amazing styles in that as well. In fact, I have two videos on Abercrombie and Fitch that you can check out after this. So that's a good place to start if you are looking for actual jeans. Now, if you're looking for outerwear, Target had this amazing crop jacket, right? so chic so cute under 35 dollars and it's such a fun way to dress up any outfit too and i love a good crop jacket especially to show off the body yaddy yaddy as the weather gets warmer it is a great layering piece and it is so perfect regardless of your style you can dress it up for work dress it down for the weekend layer it over your sweats to give just a little bit of edge and something cool and unique to your loungewear a good denim jacket like i said you really are never going to go wrong it's going to be something you're going to be able to reach for and wear over and over again the next wash that is trending not my personal favorite but that is gray wash jeans and that's just because i don't like the color gray i just feel like it doesn't look good on my skin tone i like to look glowy i like to look like i've had a little sun because in the winter i be looking like a ghost so gray just tends to wash me out so i personally don't like to wear gray like that however if you are a gray lady if you feel like gray is your spirit color that is the color for you this is your time to shine baby gray is gonna be everywhere and there are so many really really fun options when it comes to gray in so many different styles and that's the other reason i wanted to start with the washes first because you can play with this not just in the pants you can play with this in the chambray tops in your denim jackets so there's tons of different ways that you can have fun and incorporate the washes themselves into your wardrobe in a way that's going to work for you and that you're going to want to wear year after year after year so you are not wasting your money because baby that's just not what we do over here. And a couple of places to look for the gray denim. I've seen some really, really great ones on ASOS. Pretty Little Thing has also had some really, really great options as well for more laid back and chill styles. So definitely keep those places in mind if you are trying to find some pieces if you don't have some gray to really make your wardrobe pop. The last one is not a wash per se, but it is definitely trending and that is just embellished or foiled denim. I am so excited about this. I saw this come on the scene a little bit later last year. I just have not found the right style of denim for me yet. However, AFRM just dropped this set and I'm thinking I might have to run because here's the thing. This is actually super wearable even for every day for a lot of different people. When you strip back the fact that it's got something shiny on it, the goal here is to find jeans that you already are going to feel comfortable in. And so when you find a style of jeans that already feels comfortable, the embellishments and things like that are only going to make it pop and make you stand out. Like I can see these jeans with like a white tee and some heels, just running to grab some errands, running to get some coffee, like a cute coffee date outfit. So much fun. And as we are going into concert season, festival season, right? That's another occasion where I would definitely reach for a pair of jeans like this, especially that are more comfortable, that do work with my body and do look amazing. And that's the other thing I like to keep in mind when I'm looking at pieces is how I plan to wear them. If I don't feel like they're an everyday piece, they're not something I'm actually going to spend a lot more money on because I'm not going to wear them as often. But if I can name a couple of different occasions where I do feel like I could wear something like that, I will consider adding that to my wardrobe and making that work. I know a pair of embellished jeans is on the horizons for me. Like I said, I just have not found the right one, but they are just so fun. And add that pizzazz and add that spice. And I do find the foil jeans too, especially if you're more of a minimal girly, right? I do feel like a silver or a gold. That can actually be really, really fun and timeless and still edgy, right? Because jeans don't really ever go out of style when you find a style that works for your body and looks good on you. You can always style them and restyle them, as I'm going to show you later, to breathe in new life and make them work and make them feel more on trend and modern with what's going on. So that's the other reason I love to stay tapped in with the trends as well. If you're finding the information in this video useful, do me the quickest of favors, boop that like button. That not only lets me know to keep making videos like this for you and you enjoy seeing this content, that's also going to help the algorithm push this video out so it can reach even more people as well so thank you for taking a quick second to do that that means so so much to me now before we move into the styles that are trending i want to move into like the embellishments the little details that are trending because again this is going to be very easy to sift through and decide what's going to work for you and what isn't and what you are liking and what you won't and how to figure out how best to make it work for you starting off strong with puddle pants now puddle pants i totally understand the appeal right i love the length right who doesn't love a good long pant right it's giving luxury it's giving chic it's giving mm, okay she definitely doing something she is in the know about the trends the thing is from a realistic perspective 
from a I like my clothes to be functional perspective, me and the puddle pants, we're not quite eye to eye. We're not quite eye to eye because I don't wanna have to be forced to wear heels all the time just to wear my pants. That is a huge turn off for me. I don't know about you and how you feel about the length of your pants and, and if that factors into whether or not you're gonna buy a pair of pants. I will say, however, if puddle pants are calling you and you think that they are worth the investment, this next detail is going to be your best friend to actually get a lot of wear out of your puddle pants, and that is cuffed jeans. And this is why, again, it's so important to pay attention to the trends because now you have another way to style the pants that you already own, right? Because you can cuff any pair of jeans that you already have in your closet and now you're suddenly on trend. That's what I mean when I say that some of the trends are super easy to incorporate and you don't even have to buy anything new. So with this, I wouldn't even say you need to run out and buy a brand new pair of jeans. However, I will say, if you wanna go ahead and invest in a pair of puddle jeans, this will give you another way to wear those jeans with your sneakers because the exaggerated cuffs are really, really in. And so depending on how long the puddle pants you have, you can easily cuff them up to give them new life. And if you are trying to figure out how best to do that, double-sided fabric tape goes a long way. The other thing that I swear by all the time that I think so many people sleep on, that's right, a safety pin. Not everybody has time to get things tailored. Not everybody wants to pay for a seamstress. I'm one of those people from time to time. And I feel like so many people sleep on the power of a safety pin. I literally have these in my purse, in my wallet, in my car, in my travel bags, literally, Literally, the safety pin is so easy. You can easily turn up your pants, and I like to sneak the safety pin in right on the seams because that's not where a lot of people are gonna look is on the side of your pants, so you're not gonna worry about the safety pin accidentally showing through, and it's gonna keep your pants from going back to their regular length, giving you the oversized cuff effect without spending any extra money. You are welcome. I'm a DIYer at heart. I am a thrifty chick, okay? I like to find different ways to DIY it myself, and trends like this are just like gold for that, right? You don't have to spend any money. You have something already in your closet. Maybe you felt a little dated before sitting in your closet and you were trying to figure out how to breathe new life into it, and this is such an easy way to do just that. This next detail, which is trending, and again, I use, I shouldn't be using quotation marks on just one because again, trends really can be timeless and it's really just you like something or you don't. It's great that everyone else really loves it right now, but truly what I hope you're taking away from this because this is not just showing you what's trending, but how to make it work for your style is that you're remembering that it's about what you like to wear regardless of what everyone else is wearing. So with that in mind, ripped jeans. That detailing is trending right now, but again, you're either loving ripped jeans or you don't. And I do love me a good pair of ripped jeans thanks to this pair of jeans from Amber Crombie and Fitch, which honestly, it took me by surprise on a couple of levels because I never really thought I was going to wear low-rise jeans, especially growing up a millennial and especially being in my 30s. However, converted to... <laughs> Two, I also used to steer away from ripped jeans because of my nine to five and I just felt like it wasn't worth spending the money, but because of what I do now, I'm able to wear ripped jeans anytime I want. Therefore, these get worn all the time because they are just so, so comfortable. I cannot stress how comfortable these jeans are. I probably reach for them once a week and I will even wear them around the house, which truly should be a testament to how comfortable they are because I understand that not everybody likes to lounge around in jeans, but I don't spend money on clothes that I don't feel like I can lounge around in regardless of what they are. And unless it's like very, very special occasion wear, right? That for me is the only exception. So ripped denim again, super easy to incorporate. You don't have to buy new jeans for this as well. If you do have an old pair of jeans that you wanna breathe new life in, you can do, you can go ahead and add some rips to yourself. You can cut the hems off the bottom. You can do some distressing and have a fun little DIY date. Grab you a little coffee. Turn on your favorite jams and have and have some fun here. I want to encourage you again to remember that you don't have to spend money to participate in trends. You don't have to. You really can give new life to pieces that you feel like have just kind of been wasting away in your closet by participating in the trends. So I hope that this is serving as a reminder for that. The next detailing is gonna be a little bit harder because there are some common mistakes that we all make. I know I used to make them all the time, just when it comes to shopping in general. And so exposed seams and pleating is in when it comes to jeans. Now the exposed seams, the more detailed seams, the more prominent seams like this, 
that's going to be really easy, right? Again, it's like the ripped jeans. You either like it or you don't. And it's going to be so easy to incorporate that. Stick to a style of denim that you know you love to wear that you have worn for years and years and years, whether that's a mom style, a skinny jean, a baggy jean, and just find a style that is comfortable for you and has that detailing. That's the easiest way to incorporate a lot of these details, right? Is you probably already know what jeans you like. You probably know the brands that you like. And if you don't, again, I have a whole playlist that can help you sift through that a little bit quicker. But that's how I would approach a lot of these trends, right? And a lot of these details. Now, the pleats is what's going to get a lot of us caught up because pleats truly depend on two things. The material itself and the placement of the pleats. And, and a common mistake is just, oh, it's pleated and that's in, but there are different styles of pleats and different pleats are going to look good and different pleats aren't going to look good depending on your body shape, right? And I made that mistake. I'm just like, oh, okay, they said the trend is pleats. I'm just going to buy anything with pleats and that's going to be good. Baby, no. Baby, no. I was out here looking crazy, looking a little frumpy like I had a fumpa that I did not have. So pleats can be a little bit tricky for that reason. And the other mistake that you're probably making outside of just grabbing something that has the pleats is not paying attention to the materials. Let me put my materials engineer hat on for a quick second because I used to make this mistake too as an engineer who studied this stuff. So, so if you're making this mistake, let me, let me help you. The thing is the material, what your jeans, what the piece is actually made of is going to impact how it sits on your body. And so why this is important is that heavier materials, stiffer denims, wool, those are going to retain their shape outside of your body shape. So if you want something that's going to have structure to it, you want a heavier material because that's going to keep that shape regardless of your body shape. It's going to be less impacted by your body, but thinner materials, right? Like your polyesters, like your satin, those are meant to drape over your body and sit on your body. Things with a last stain, right? That have that stretch. Those are meant to be impacted by your body, meaning that your body is going to have a huge impact on how those clothes sit on you. And that's just what you want to keep in mind when you're looking at pleating. If you want those pleats to really stay and have structure, you're going to have to lean more towards 100% cotton. And the downside with that that I have found is not all 100% cotton is comfortable. And so depending on your personal preference, if you like 100% cotton, if you like stiffer denim or you don't, this may or may not be for you, right? And that's just an easy mistake to make is we often just are looking at the clothes, putting it on, wondering if it feels comfortable. But then we're like, why isn't it sitting how we want it to sit? And you are just not taking into account what the piece is made of that you've grabbed. And again, that's a very easy fix. Just start looking at the tags and paying attention for the pieces that you have that have more structure and keep the shape that you like. What is that made of? For the clothes that are a little more form-fitting and grazing on your body in a way you might not like, what are those clothes made of? That's going to help you narrow down to, outside of just the denim styles and things like that, what's gonna work for you and what isn't and how best to make these trends and these pieces work for you and your style in a way that makes you feel. Cause baby, you gotta feel amazing too. It's not just enough to look good. I want you to make sure you're feeling good in these clothes too. Now let's get into the styles of denim that are trending. And I saved this for last because this can be the most complicated, especially if you are slim, thick, like your girl, because not all jeans are created equal. So it's going to take just a little bit longer to find the right piece that will work for you because the style is very specific, right? Unlike the wash, unlike the details where you can apply those to any style of jean that you like, the styles... The styles just are a little bit more challenging, especially this first style, which is big and baggy, right? Big and baggy is very, very broad and can be very difficult depending on your body shape. Like it took me a long time to find just these Abercrombie and Fitch jeans that I love so, so much. And I have yet to find another pair of jeans as good as this that I love as much, that I wear as much. I want to. I'm on the hunt. Don't get me wrong. But, but the big baggy jeans for me actually is so timeless because once you find a style you really, really like, a brand you really, really like, you can wear these every day. They do not have to have the rips in them. And they're so easy to dress up and dress down, right? You can make this more formal with a blazer, right? You can dress it down with a really cool corset top, right? There are so many different ways to play with the big and baggy, which is why it's really not hard to see that this is trending because when you find one that works for you, it is very wearable, it is very comfortable, and that is just where we kind of are right now. I think everyone's trying to find that like perfect blend as we are discovering our style, finding ourselves is like, I want to look put together, but I want to be comfortable. And what is that fine line? And I feel like that's the dance we're always doing, right? It's like, 
I'm trying to be cute. I'm trying to be put together. I'm trying to be chic. But I also, I also, especially at this big age, I'm not about to be uncomfortable. So this is going to take a little bit more time to find, but a lot of good places to look. ASOS is one of my favorite places to shop hands down in general, but they have been dropping a bunch of baggier styles that are fun, not just by themselves, but also have some of the details we talked about earlier that are literally chef's kiss. Like I am eyeing up this pair right now in that in that kind of a crew with those kind of rip seams that's also wide and baggy yeah yeah that for me is going to be so fun and so playful and i'm just going to get a lot of wear out of it but another great place right now amber crumb and fitch's denim has truly just been doing it and they have been having a couple of different sales so they're one that i like to watch too because when the sale is good i can snag a couple of pieces not at full price and really get the most bang for my buck the next style that's in line with like the puddle jeans trend is exaggerated flares now this one is not for me again i do want to give the puddle jeans a try but the flare that for me is definitely more 70s that's a little bit too on the nose with a certain era for my personal style, right? Like I'm definitely just not a 70s girl. However, for my girlies who love this, I know who you are, my beautiful fairies who like to be playful, who like to have that little bit of mystic energy, the place that you wanna look for good flared jeans that my friend actually put me onto, Free People. Free People has a lot of really great, amazing flared jeans if that is your style. And I do love these for festival season right i do love these for a concert i just feel like for me that's the only time i would wear this style of jeans so for me it's not really worth that investment but i totally understand my style is not your style and that is why i encourage you if you feel like this is for you free people and just thank me later just thank me later this next one i am absolutely loving and that is the utilitarian jeans okay i was first brought into this way of the cargo jeans with this pair of jeans from dynamite clothing right and what i love again i focused on a pair of pants that was comfortable first and then i looked for the pants that had the details that i liked these are so comfortable and so easy and i was so obsessed i wore these so much until i found these jeans in zara's men's section which they have in other colors yeah i'm wearing a size 29 in these by the way for reference which is about my actual waist size my only warning to you if you have a long torso and you don't want lower rise jeans these are going to sit up in your coochie they're going to be a little bit uncomfortable depending on where your torso is so just take that with a grain of salt these work for me i have a shorter torso with long legs but these may not work for everybody however i love 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 these style of jeans and when i was looking at the utilitarian trend i instantly knew like i wanted a pair i just wasn't going to pay attico jean money and then the fashion nova dupes just were never in stock for me and i also don't like shopping at places where i can't get my money back so me and fashion nova like i be peeping at her but i very very rarely shop from there just because i cannot return things to get my money back and i need to have that no exceptions if this exaggerated style isn't for you but you want to play with this there's actually a lot of more slim styles that incorporate the bigger pockets and things like that that really can work if you are a little bit more minimal or you just want something that feels maybe less trendy right like these depending on your style can feel very trend forward and feel like they might go out of style for me they won't because i definitely can see myself wearing these in 10 years with a blazer like this dressed up with a t-shirt it's just a super easy comfortable pair of pants that looks different that looks different and isn't what everyone else is wearing and that's my style that's what i like but if you are somebody who is a little bit on i don't want to call it the safer side but just the minimal side consider more slim styles like these that have some of the pocket detailing on the side but it's not so overdone or over exaggerated and that's another reminder i want you to have is that whenever you see a trend you don't have to go to the most exaggerated version of the trend right like that's what a lot of the fashion girlies are gonna do and they're gonna pull it off and they're gonna almost convince you they're gonna convince you it might be worth the money they're doing their jobs really well and what i encourage you to do is remember that a lot of the styles you might see are the exaggerated version and you can still play with these trends on a less exaggerated version in a way that works for you and still gives a nod to the trends like these styles here this next style i really wanted to play with but i just haven't been able to find a style that i like and that is the barrel leg jeans okay I've tried on a pair from Zara. I've tried on a pair from Abercrombie and Fitch. I just haven't found a style that works for me. So this is a less exaggerated version of the barrel jeans, but really the barrel jeans are very, very wide all the way through the knee. And then they kind of taper in 
from your knee down to your calf, right? Like I said, there were some fun styles at Zara and Abercrombie & Fitch. They just didn't work for me. The next one that I am personally struggling with and have struggled with for years, not because I don't like it, but because again, it just takes me some time. I'm very, very picky. And I'm also very, very patient about what I add to my wardrobe. I'm so intentional. And jean shorts of any length, any shade, any size are trending right now. And I have tried on some jean shorts, okay? Zara, H&M. The, <laughs> the hard part for me is that balance, right? Like, I don't mind showing some booty butt cheeks, okay? I don't mind letting the yam show when the occasion calls for it, right? We are outside on the beach. We are at a concert. We are at a day party. But... <laughs> But I don't want just shorts like that and I have not found a good pair of shorts that are a little bit longer that give me the full coverage I'm looking for that don't feel too momish when it comes to jeans. I don't know why specifically jean shorts and I just butt heads like that when it comes to the longer lengths because I love a good linen short, I love a breezy like cotton short, but something about the denim short and the longer lengths and I, it's... It's been a tussle. It has been a tussle. So if you ever see me come out on this here internet on any of my platforms and be like, I have found the denim jean shorts, the everyday denim jean shorts, know that I've really found them because I have been looking for my whole life. My whole life. Pray for some jeans like these and still have yet to find them. So this is another easy one because you may already have jean shorts in your closet. So anything that you have is trending right now. And if you are shopping for some jean shorts, I have liked H&M. H&M is a really great place to start. They have a good variety of styles for affordable prices. I also was really, really pleasantly surprised by American Eagles shorts as well. Again, a lot of great sizing, a lot of different options. They had a really, really fun pair that I'm mad I did not purchase in the store that had this really cute flower detail on the butt. And I do think about those often. So they're another great place, especially if you are on the slim thick side like myself. I am a size 6, 8 depending on the brand. They have really, really great options. Now on to another trending denim that just doesn't feel like a trend because babes, this style is always in style in my opinion. That is the straight 90s leg jeans. And I don't really see this one as hard to incorporate because once you find the right rise and the right wash, baby, you're gonna be unstoppable. And point in case is this pair of jeans from H&M that I have had for four years now. And it is the most shopped pair of jeans from that H&M try on video for good reason. When I tell you these are so comfortable, they were under 40 bucks. I can wear these so many different ways. I can add the little turn up cuff to pay homage to another trend. This is just flattering and they're so comfortable. And the other style that I finally tried, the Levi's. Okay, and there's a reason that these are the best seller that they are. I actually am on the fence about which one I wear more now these days because the Levi's are so comfortable as well. And I like that they come in a bit of a longer length so I can have a little bit more fun with them when it comes to heels. So if you're looking for recommendations, those are the two places hands down. And again, this is just one of those styles for me. It's timeless. And this, regardless of your personal style, whether you are minimal, whether you are playful, it's so easy to incorporate that this, that this to me shouldn't even have been like on the trends list just because it's one of those classic styles that I feel like has just We've transcended beyond that. The same way I do feel like a good pair of baggy pants, right? That to me just isn't trendy anymore. We are at a point where if you like baggy pants, that's your style. Like the barrel jeans and the exaggerated flares, those I will definitely say will start out as trendy and are not something most people will wear once they go out of style. But the 90s straight leg jeans, anybody who has a pair of those jeans, we have worn those for years. We already knew they were that girl because baby, you see what they're doing. And what I'm really hoping you're getting from this video, not just learning about the trends because that's important, is really how you can make trends work for you, not just today, but how you should be looking at trends in order to decide if they are worth spending your money on and how they're gonna play with your personal style, not just today, but over the years. And if you feel like that information was useful and you really want more of that, you're trying to really hone in on your style, spend less, look good every day, check out my entire playlist on how to improve your style because not only do I share the tips and tricks I have learned over the years, but really dug into the mindset shifts because how you approach fashion and how you approach shopping and how you approach yourself and how you feel about yourself, those are all going to impact your style, how you dress and whether or not you're going to always look good because that's truly where it all starts when it comes to having amazing style. And if you want more videos like that to help you figure out what's gonna make you feel good, hit that subscribe button so you do not miss a video. And thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you over on the playlist.